Hey guys, it is Kota Crafter and I'm finally back with another Project Light Process video. So I will be showing you a kit that I made a few months ago using the Pink Fresh Studio A Case of the Blahs. And I'm really happy I got to use some new products because I've been itching to use something new instead of trying to use my old stash. So the first pack is the fabric embellishments and then here are the puffy stickers. Next is the stamp set. The ephemera pack. And then I added two packs of these old uh, Citrus Twist puffy stickers. Here's a new pack of the Project Life desktop chipboard stickers. And the 6x12 A Case of the Blahs stickers. So the Project Life cards that I picked out to go along with the A Case of the Blahs papers is the, I believe, Confetti Edition cards. I'm not sure if it's confetti. I think it is. But... I've been wanting to use those cards because it's one of those core kits I regret buying now, but the colors actually do go well with this collection. So I will be doing a two page layout and this is based off one of the other, I don't want to say it's not a conference, but more of like a, uh, I don't want to say a show, um, those special public speaking events. That's, I guess, lack of a better word. So I did choose three different um, washi tapes to go with this particular kit. So I picked out this Prima black and white number design, and I almost used a full strip, and I thought to myself, wait a minute, why should I cover majority of the washi tape and waste it? So I need to learn to just cut off a little bit and then put it at the ends instead of cutting a long strip and then covering the middle part, which is just a waste. But anyway, so I pasted that photo and out of the three people, I while I was working, I found out um, who one of them was and I knew the guy was from the Shallow Hal movie. <laughs> um, but other than that, like I, um, I didn't really know the other guy on the left, um, not left, at the right end. But the middle guy, when I got home, because I was curious who else was speaking, um, I found out it's the guy from Shark Tank. <laughs> and I wish I could have seen him, because I, I really think he's good looking. But um, yeah, so this was at the Amway Center here in Orlando. And I added that puffy sticker because it just went so well with the photo it was like yeah definitely what the what so i added some puffy stickers and some alphas and i did stamp the week out on that title card so on to the next photo it's uh, i kind of don't really like this photo but i i didn't want to um forget the moment so I just took a photo before I ate this wrap. Now the client was actually very generous to give us lunch. So um, I picked out this veggie wrap and I kept this card simple because I added this big chipboard which went so well with the photo because it's, it's the little things that make your day, especially when the morning was very chaotic. I mean, that morning was just crazy. Crazy, <laughs> but I made it through. So I added that arrow sticker just to write in lunchtime, and um, I was planning to write a little bit more on that card, but I decided to do it on the next card, which is the inside. I took a photo of the inside of the veggie wrap, and it was so delicious, guys. It was definitely one of the best wraps I've ever had. And it had tomatoes, carrots, I think quinoa, you can see in the photo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it right. But um, I would definitely get that wrap again if I could. 
So I added this ephemera because I wanted to do a little bit of journaling about this photo because, like I said, it was really good, so I had to write it down. And those puffy stickers really went well with the photo. So this is definitely one of my favorite cards out of both sides of the layout. So this is, I actually had to go online and take a photo of, or take a screenshot photo of the Amway Center because I didn't have a chance to take a photo when I was outside of the Amway. So I that purple bracelet, we all had to wear so we all knew who was working the event and so forth so we you know don't get stopped for any reason so I kind of layered it a little bit and added some of those washi tapes and I wanted to use all of those paper clip chipboard stickers because I'm like when am I going to use these again so <laughs> I'm like might as well use all of them and then um I do add another ephemera pack, I mean not ephemera pack, excuse me, <laughs> ephemera which says just no because it was crazy, like I really hate downtown Orlando because the traffic is terrible, they're still till this day for many years building and building and building bridges, building buildings, like it, it's crazy over there. So. Um, I'm glad that I was only able to work that show one day because I really didn't want to come back the next day. But anyway, so the back part is, this is a, I think I mentioned this a few times in my previous video, but I did bump into the modest cat, aka Bella, and uh, while I was working, it was out of the blue, I mean... It, we were both shocked to see each other. I, I really wasn't expecting um, seeing someone that I know at my work. So I had to like do a full four by six card telling the whole story of how it happened. And we were both were, like really happy to see each other. But unfortunately, since I was working, I wasn't able to like hang out with her, you know, watch the show with her and all that. But I asked, I texted her while I was on my break if she could send me photos so I can add it to my Project Life card. I mean, not my, <laughs> excuse me, my Project Life album. And she sent me quite a few photos that were really great. And I really love um, just the photos that she took. It, it, she took really good photos. So I had to make sure to embellish this particular photo um, really nice because it's definitely one of the photo, one of the best photos that she took. And I was going to trace around that card, but I decided not to because the ink was super wet. And this card, I regret doing this because I first had it on the chevron side because. When I saw the purple, I'm like, there's no purple in the case of the Blas collection. So that's why I decided to use the other side. But then when I think about it, the purple bracelet on the first page, I thought, oh, I should have left it the way it was because it could have balanced <laughs> the purple from the other side. But oh, well. So here I wanted to do a different... Because usually I would do my alphas horizontally so I wanted to do it diagonally but I didn't like how it looked so I just went back to my old horizontal way and added that puffy sticker because there was a lot of people there especially in the morning when people were getting their bracelets or tickets and all that I mean yeah it made sense because <laughs> there was a lot of people so this is the last card of the layout and I added this, um, this is definitely one of my favorite washi tapes because, you know, tickets, cameras, hearts, my top three. I think they're my top three icons that I love in scrapbooking. And it made sense because it's one of those event type of photos. So it just went so well. And the color is a really nice green color. That's what I like about it as well. So I added that little diamond because it was one of those random embellishments. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to use. I might as well just put it on this card. So 
I thought this uh, paper was perfect because I liked the little quote there because those public speakers are like teaching people um, how to deal with certain things or how to do this and so forth. So it just went so well with the whole two page layout. And I added that big ampersand and that's pretty much it for this process video. I um, do like how it came out and um, I might do another project light process video because it really inspired me to do more. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.